Alright, today we're going to be making strawberry shortcake candles. Y'all see me wicking the jars right now. Those jars are from Dollar Tree. They're real thick. Um, I really like them for this particular candle. They have a really wide mouth, so it works for the candle. And I end up getting a lot of jars from the Dollar Tree. Uh, I guess the Dollar Twenty-Five tree right now. But, uh... I like to overlap my wicks though because I like to um, the jar gets narrower as it goes down and I don't want the candle wick to scrape against the side of the glass or that'll burn the, the glass so that's why I overlap them like that I simply just use a glue gun I've never really used the stickers they may work I just have never tried them before but that's it, y'all. That's just me wicking the jars right now. And excuse my ashy hands. Um, <laughs> it's cold in Illinois. I have no idea why I didn't put on lotion today. All right, y'all. Y'all see me um, just whipping my wax. It was melted. And because it's so cold outside, I don't even sit in the freezer anymore to solidify again. I just sit it outside for a little bit, let it get cold, and then I just get my um, whisk or whatever you call that thing, and I start whipping the wax. The outside is stuck to the metal, so you have to do a lot of scraping. Now, right there, there's my piping bag. Um, I got the biggest one that I can find on Amazon, and I'm real lazy, so I did not walk to my room to get my real scissors and I was using my wick <laughs> cutting scissors which as you can see was a fail so in a minute you'll see me screaming at my son to go get my scissors so I can actually really cut it but um, that's what I'm gonna use to pipe the wax and really for the strawberry shortcut I don't do a lot of piping I just kind of use it to pour it um to let it pour into the candle jar you'll see in just a minute i like it to be real smooth and more like a mousse or a pudding than anything and then i have no idea how big this jar is but i found it in um, my husband's stash and i have been using it ever since it's just easy for me to like fold it over and pour the um, candle wax in it without trying to be some sort of Houdini and I'm still just whipping it whipping it whipping it I took a, a quick break as you can see and now I'm going back to whipping the wax again and that's kind of how it shouldn't be translucent anymore but I pour mines in there rather thin sometimes I'll let it sit longer like if I'm making the banana pudding candle I'll let it sit in the um, the plastic what did I just call that thing? Yeah, I lost my words. I don't know what that thing is. The bag. I let it sit there for a little bit. And let it thicken up a little bit more. But I always pour it thin because it's just easier for me to get it in there. I am still learning how to work camera and camera angles. So excuse me for moving jars and removing them and moving them all over again. I don't know what I'm doing. I just like making candles. So I figured I'd show you guys how I use my technique of making it. Where did I go? Okay. Where you go, Nina? Oh, I know where I went. That's my cho my chocolate syrup. That's my strawberry syrup. Um, so as you see, I'm putting the strawberries in there. These are the half strawberries. Now, I think I almost burnt my house down with that um, strawberry syrup. It's smoking. I don't know if you can tell from the um, video now, but that syrup, the clear wax, the clear gel wax, it gets hot very quickly if you don't watch it. And that's the only wax that I ever put directly on my burner. I know I should probably use a double boil, but if I did, it would take forever. So I don't. Uh, so you really have to watch it uh quickly so I pour it right over the strawberries because my strawberries are um, paraffin and it won't melt them too bad it will melt my parasoy though so as you can see a little bit of the oil it starts to melt and you'll see that some of the liquid will start to show 
But that's all I'm doing. Pouring the syrup over there. And now I'm just um, squeezing it out. I'm going to cut down to like two candles. Because I am not a master of this just yet when it comes to trying to film and see where I'm at and get all of the candles in there it was just getting frustrating so all right you guys see me um about to pour a little bit more of the um candle wax or what I call the mousse inside of the uh, bag the piping bag haha <laughs> that's what it is and I'm using the one with the the silver attachment that just has a complete opening it doesn't have any um, ridges or any designs on it it's just a circle at the bottom nothing fancy i think i got that from walmart you just squeeze it out a little bit the thicker you have it the more form it'll be so it won't cover the strawberries if you want your strawberries to be shown a little bit more i just kind of like mine to peek through a little bit and then the strawberry syrup but it's all with whatever you like to do those are my shortcake cookies and I just layer it from here depending on the temperature that you have your house depends on how quickly that um, wax is going to solidify my house is pretty warm so I have a little bit of time but this video is sped up so that's why it looks like I'm moving a little fast. Even though I still feel like it's slow than a mug. More mousse. So what I like about that gel is when you actually burn your candle, um, once the flame gets going, it looks clear. Like you can actually see through and it. it illuminates. Is that the word I'm looking for? It illuminates the rest of the jar so it's pretty cool I didn't do much editing for this video I didn't feel like it so I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I did that um, you can avoid doing so as you can see that clear gel it goes from hot to cool quickly now your um, parasoy, if you're using that, soy not so much, but parasoy is really creamy. And so it will stay. But as you can see, I don't care for that syrup. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do in just a minute. I didn't care for the initial syrup pour um, on that back part. And so the good thing about gel is once it solidifies, you could just pull it right off and start all over and re-pour your syrup if you want to so that's what I'm gonna do because I didn't like it oh this is just me trying to um, work with the other two candles that I started to make on camera that was not working out in the frame and remember you always have time to clean up your candles at the end you accidentally like see that's coming out too thick i should really have just taken the time to go remelt it and all of that but i did not but i'm going to in a minute because i didn't like the pour and then again sometimes we're just hard on ourselves so this could just be me being hard on myself could be perfectly fine for you guys but as you can see you didn't see me pull it but I literally pulled off the clear part as soon as it was solidified and I think that was like two minutes later then I went remelted it and then decided to pour again and I really like the uh, clear gel over stuff like this and you just go for the look that you're comfortable with, what you are good for your customers, what's good for you if you're not selling them. Um, I know when I walk in the store what I want. So, But that's it, y'all. That's me constructing the strawberry candle. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.